Have you ever wanted to make a game, but you didn't because you think it's too expensive? Well, you're stupid. Because I've got a list of a bunch of free programs that allow you to make some pretty cool stuff. So, like, just watch this, and blammo, there you go. This list is by no means definitive, and is literally just things that I, myself, have used before. For convenience, there will be time spans of where everything is, so you can just jump around if needed. Anyhow, let's just get into it. Firstly, I want to talk about something very fundamental. Game engines. Because of the fact that most people starting out, including myself, quiver at the thought of using a framework, it's safest to just get started with a game engine. There are many great options, but I predominantly use two. GDevelop and Unity. GDevelop is a free and open source game engine that uses visual scripting as its primary form of logic, making it very beginner friendly. Making logic in GDevelop is speedy and is one of the reasons my current game, Little Robot Game, is being developed within GDevelop. Something else to consider is that GDevelop really only offers support for 2D games, even though they may promote being able to make 3D stuff. Trust me, GDevelop is not a 3D engine, and it really is not the best suited for that. So if you want 3D games, and you want to make those things, I'd suggest going with just about anything other than GDevelop. Unity was where I started out, and is a very good and powerful engine, which I strongly recommend. The engine is really a jack of all trades, offering good tools for both 3D and 2D. However, due to some questionable business decisions, many people are wary of Unity, so other good options similar to it would be Godot and Unreal. Speaking of Godot, I am currently fooling around with Godot to see if I can actually make stuff in it. Just trying to learn. The engine offers tools for both 3D and 2D development, though the support for 2D is much stronger. But unlike GDevelop, 3D development is actually a good realistic thing in Godot. The engine is both free and open source, making it a very safe option for cheap stakes like myself. Next up is general programming tools. Engines like Unity require you have separate software to program in, so here's my little list of them. These also may be useful if you choose to work just using a framework, or if you're way smarter than me and insane completely from scratch. And if you are, you probably already know all of these programs already. Firstly, as lame and awful as it may be, Notepad is always an option. Regrettably, this was something I used for about a year. It works. If you refuse to download anything, it's fine, I guess. But I wouldn't really recommend it. If you're wanting to make something purely just using the program, the framework, from scratch, etc., etc., a good online free option is Replit. I use this for school projects mostly when I'm working in Python, and it can do just about any language you can probably think of. Great little website. I love that thing. Replit's great. But when it comes to making games, I mostly use Visual Studio Code. Some people may have just died to learn that I don't use the normal version of Visual Studio, but frankly, I just prefer the lighter weight app. Visual Studio Code is just versatile, and it will get the job done. And as I said prior, the app itself is pretty light on the resources it uses, making it ideal when you're living out the game dev fantasy of 15 different pieces of software running at once. Next up is art programs, something very important. Now, I'm gonna get this one out of the way first because I did lie about everything being free. I did pay for this one program, but it's just so nice to have. After buying a cheap little Wacom tablet, I got a free two-year license for Clip Studio Paint. Man, I just love how it works. So when the license ended, I decided to spend my $30 and have the license for the rest of my life. Flip Paint is an amazing program. 
but if you want a free alternative to it, I would recommend using either Gimp or Krita. I've dabbled in Gimp. I've never touched Krita, but I've heard great things about both of them. So give it a try if you're looking for free options. As for Pixel Art, a great choice for beginners would be Piscal. It's free and it's online. So you can check it out right now without downloading a thing. Great for making simple little pixel art things. I've used this many times before. And my one warning with Piscal is that it is prone to occasionally crash. Save often if you're using it. Don't be stupid like me and lose work in it. Just warning you, it doesn't happen that much, but should consider that. Another program I would recommend is Asprite, but in this video we're broke, so we're talking about Libre Sprite. Libre Sprite is simply an older version of Asprite that you can get for free. The only real hitch is that you have to do some extra work when downloading. It's not really hard at all. I just downloaded the file and ran it. But you may have to compile things, mess with it. It's not that bad. I'm sure you can find tutorials on how to compile it if you need to. But it's such a good pixel art program that it is worth it. It will do literally anything that you need it to in the realm of pixel art. For music, I've mainly used two programs, but there's also a third one that I've used before. And because I've used that third one the least, I'm just gonna get it out of the way. Bosco Seal is a fine little program for making Jiptoons. I used it very briefly near the start of my game development journey, and it worked. But generally speaking, it just doesn't work well for my workflow. But another program that is equally good for Chiptunes, and I much prefer it, is Beatbox, and I love that little crap of a website. As mentioned, Beatbox is entirely on the web, and oddly enough, song data is stored entirely within the link of the project, which is weird, but it actually makes it really convenient to share it and save it. Good stuff. The real limitation with Beatbox is the pool of sounds you have access to. You can create your own synth -as sounds, but if you want more realistic sounds or different virtual instruments or more dynamic qualities, you're going to need another DAW. Using Beatbox, I've made songs for most of my games that have released up to this point. Iconic tunes like the little robot game theme were made in Beatbox. So I'm gonna play a couple of little excerpts so you can hear what Beatbox sounds like. Enjoy! But as of now, I'm mostly using LMMS for making music. I started using it back in October, and I've fallen in love with this program. It's just your standard DAW, pretty similar to FL Studio, but it's free. It lets you use whatever virtual instruments, MIDI, sound fonts, and plugins that you want. And you can definitely do much more complicated stuff than I can. It's just your standard DAW. It will do what you need it to, and it always will just work most of the times. I've never had a real hitch with it. It just works well. So here's a couple of little tunes I've made in LMS just so you can hear some of the variety and sounds that you can get out of this DAW. Lastly, I just wanted to briefly talk about what I used to make videos for if you're curious. When it comes to actually recording audio, there was a point in time where I did mess with Audacity a little, which is a great program. And I probably should use it, but I didn't really like it. So I've actually been using a website to record audio for the past three years, and it works fine. I just use this website called 123apps.com, and it works pretty well. I'm recording using it right now, sitting in my chair. As for video editing, I did use FlexClip and Wii Video starting out for a little bit, 
especially we video when I had a little license through my school. But anything made since summer 2021 was edited in DaVinci Resolve. My goodness, phenomenal program. It is incredible that it's free. It's basically Adobe Premiere, except free, better, honestly, and just not from Adobe, which I feel like is enough of a selling point. But yeah, those are the programs I've used and still use, which are all free except for clip paint, but just ignore that. I hope you found this useful, and now you have no excuse for not making games. There's plenty of free programs you can use to make them, and your only real excuse is laziness or lack of time. And we all know that laziness is not an excuse. Anyways, go make something. I've given you tools, I think. Or don't make something. I'm not your dad.